What a way to kick off playoff weekend in the National Football League. 70,000 strong here in Baltimore in just a few moments ago. As if they weren't riled up enough, take a look at who is tossing the coin at midfield. Another favorite son of Baltimore, Mike Anderson, in the backfield for Baltimore on third and seven. McNair over the middle, hit his man, comes up short of the first down. from the 25 to the 35 across the 40 and out to his own 45 yard line and a terrific return a die gets the carry gets running room up the middle across midfield and into Baltimore territory His first pass of the day to the far side on the money to Reggie Wayne. Wayne out of bounds at the 25-yard line and a first down for Indianapolis. Percent of the time, and that means on the other side it's Wayne. Quick snap on third and eight. Throws to the other side of the field. Reggie Wayne for a first down inside the 15 to about the 13 or the 12. Gets the handoff. And is met at about the five-yard line. The rookie out of Oregon, Haloti Nata. Third and three, and again, it's a dive. And again, he's hit right before the line of scrimmage. This time, Terrell Suggs. And he has Indianapolis on the board first. Evening here in Baltimore, but incredibly warm. That's <laughs> it. McNair pulls it down a couple of times, and now he's going to take off and run across the 25 to the 26-yard line. How much will he use him today? Well, we saw he used him right there to pick up six. Three tight ends, and McNair on the move. Flips to one of them, Todd Heap. And Heap lost the football across the 30. Is that a fumble, well, or is it whistled down? The officials are looking at each other. One of them needs to make a call. We have no call yet. Gary Brackett came up with the football. Trying to figure out if this ball came out when Heat makes contact with the ground or does it come out in midair? I think they're going to rule him down. Oh, I'm not sure. Right. I think the ball's out before he comes down. Let's see. Here comes Tony Dungy. He comes running and throwing. Oh, that ball's out. That ball's his elbow does hit the ground, but it looks like the ball's coming loose. After reviewing the play, the ball came loose before the runner's elbow hit the ground. There was a clear recovery by the Indianapolis player at the 31-yard line. Throws the other way. That's complete to Reggie Wayne. Inside the 25 to the 23. A dive. Escapes the first wave. The tacklers lost the football. Who came up with it? A lot of purple shirts around the ball. But one down low <laughs> has a white jersey, and that's the Colts. And this money, one looks good. Money, money. <laughs> and Hunter Smith gets it away. End over end. Not a good kick from the 40. Ross. Midfield. Inside the Indianapolis 45 to about the 41 or 42 yard line. Superb field position from McNair from the 42 of the Colts. Out into the flat, Jamal Lewis on the move. Out of bounds at the Indianapolis 35. This is Lewis. To the 25. On third and five, McNair on the move, throws, and that's complete, but that's going to be short of a first down. Holders have come into an all-new attention area this year, especially of late. The hold is good. The kick is good from 40 yards out. A dive trying to turn the corner. Can't do it. It's really hard to identify the right people to block. And a lot of times, somebody ends up unblocked. Intercepted at the 45-yard line the human, of the Ravens. The human ball magnet, Ed Reed. 
I must protect the football at all costs. On first down, Jamal Lewis bounces it to the outside, to midfield, and close to a first down. McNair gives to Lewis, and Lewis finds running room. Still on his feet, inside the 30, to the 25 before he's knocked out of bounds. And there go those feet again. McNair, play fake this time, on the move, throws, has his man inside the 10-yard line. That's Dan Wilcox. Jamal Lewis and Obi Mahaley in the backfield. This is Lewis. Lewis inside the five to the three. On second and goal, Lewis. This time hit early. McNair with time, throws a quick one, and that's intercepted at the goal line. Antoine Bethea, the rookie. And here come the Ravens, all after Manning. He throws and completes it out to the 15-yard line to Marvin Harrison, his first catch of the day. Here they come again, Manning on the move. Going to run with it to the 20 and out of bounds just shy of the first down marker. Manning dances out of the way of Adelis Thomas down the middle, almost intercepted by Chris McAllister. Well, he had it except Ray Lewis hits him and knocks the ball away. Far side of the field. And that's complete to Harrison for a first down. And runs, and from that position, tough to react. Little flea flicker. Manning throws it away. That wasn't going to work, and Manning was under pressure. <laughs> Thought he threw it away. He didn't. Holy smokes. Boy, the secondary is not going to give Manning the deep ball. This is a dive. Dances inside the 35 to the 33. That time... Manning steps up, rolls, throws down the sideline, incomplete. Dallas Clark, his intended receiver. But beyond 50 yards isn't his specialty. This from 51 yards away, and it is... Hit the crossbar and bounced over. Hematoma back there, and it was so bad they had to go in and remove some of the blood. McNair flips to Jamal Lewis. Lewis looking for running room and that swarming Colt defense corrals him at about the 26-yard line. Baltimore 0 for 4 on third down today. McNair over the middle. That's almost picked off by Bob Sanders. Manning steps up. Gonna go deep. Moorhead wide open. Did he pull it in? Did he have possession? At the 10-yard line. We're going to have a conference. The two officials of the line, the two linesmen are talking about it. They're and waving it off. Rolling on the field is an incomplete pass. And it's a terrific call because he's bobbling it as he goes out of bounds. Not very often will you ever see a better catch that didn't count. That indie defense has been so aggressive. Maybe Brian Billick doesn't mind going into the locker room down just 9-3. That's the end of the first half, and that's your score. The Colts 9, the Ravens 3. Manning to a die out of the backfield. A die with a first down out near the 40-yard line, out of bounds at exactly the Colt 40. Manning over the middle for Dallas Clark. Inside the Baltimore 35. On second and six. Manning throws and in and out of the hands of Clark at the 20-yard line. Steps up, looks, throws far side of the field, incomplete. From 51, just barely, this is from 48. On its way, looks good. And Vinatieri, it's been it's been impressive. McNair 
Pulls it down. Sideline pass. This time Clayton holds on and is out of bounds in Colt territory at the 47. That's what you got to try to do, see if he's got the strength to push off of him. McNair. Running out of time. Throws, and that's complete. Mark Clayton. Clayton close to the 40-yard line. That's about five yards short of a first down. Rhodes. Fresh legs. Breaks through. 25, 30. Out across the 35-yard line and a first down. Manny throws far side of the field and diving at midfield is Reggie Wayne with the catch and that's another first down. Second and 11. Manning throwing far side and that is complete loose football. Bounced out of bounds. Marvin Harrison had it and fumbled it out of bounds. On the blitz. Throwing it. Intercept. No, he dropped it at midfield. Looked uh, like Chris. No, not Chris McAllister. Ed Reed again. How risky was this throw under pressure by Peyton Manning? That's the second time. One to McAllister, one to Reed. That would have been picks. Hunter Smith kicks it away. Corey Ross lets it bounce. And this is going to be run down by the Colts inside the five-yard line. Second longest in the league since 1991 until that play. McNair. Mahaney. Bottled it. Finally tucked it in. To give this to Mahaney. And Mahaney across the 15 to the 17 and a first down. McNair. Looking downfield, going deep, caught. Mark Clayton and lost the football. There's a penalty marker on the field. They did not rule him down on the field. Coming back up the side and now back to Bob Sanders. Sanders on the far side of the field to the 30 and out of bounds at the 25. Keep in mind there is a penalty marker down before the pass was ever completed. Tired of the pass. Illegal contact, number 42 defense. Five yard penalty, automatic first down. But there are holes down there. McNair. Deep down the middle. Oh, what a catch! What a catch by Todd Heath. From the Indianapolis 44, first and 10 for Baltimore. McNair to Jamal Lewis out of the backfield. Inside the 40, still on his feet. Inside the 35 to the 32 and a first down. So another third down now. McNair, short flip to Anderson. Anderson trying to break it outside. Hit just as he crossed inside the 35 to the 34. Kick is on the way. It's going to be long enough, and it is good. The Chargers who had 61, but they've had lots of pressure. Manning on the move, throws it, incomplete, trying to hit Dallas Clark. Quick snap, pump fake, Manning going deep down the sideline and it is intercepted. Ed Reed. The whistles have blown. The Ravens just one out of eight on third down today. McNair. On the move, throws up the middle. That's complete for a first down. Straight drop from McNair. He throws for Heath. Incomplete. Third and nine. McNair intercepted. Nick Harper. And the Colts take it right back. Manning under pressure, and he goes down. First sack of the day for Baltimore, and Kelly Gregg got it. Reed is 20 yards off the line of scrimmage. Manning pumping, finally dumps the short pass to Utech, and Utech 
just a couple of yards beyond the original line of scrimmage, but that'll bring on the punting unit. McNair under pressure and just barely got it away. Oh, Robert Mathis. Total yards this half. Baltimore, two out of ten on third downs today. Has time this time and throws incomplete just as he was hit. This is Rhodes again, and Rhodes out to about the 43. Play clock down to two, down to one, and he got the snap off, and the give is to Rhodes, and Rhodes has a first down close to midfield. Marvin Harrison has switched sides. Rhodes, Rhodes hit by Terrell Suggs. Here comes the blitz off the edge. They're going to run it. And powering his way across midfield and all the way to the 45 is Dominique Rhodes. And that's what happens when you try to tackle the ball and not the ball carrier. Manning from the shotgun gets good protection, throws far side. Diving catch by Dallas Clark for a first down. Corey Ivey must be speechless that this ends up being a completion. And this is a four and a half minute drive. Second and three. Once again, Rhodes and not much there. Just to the 25. Klecko leads the way for Rhodes, who bursts for a first down to the 20 yard line. And Manning just right to the ground in the middle of the field to line Vinatieri up in perfect position. Kick is on its way, and it is good. For the eighth time in NFL history, a kicker has hit five field goals in a playoff game. They did it once. They did it once again. McNair has it slapped out of his hand by Robert Mathis. And that's going to do it. And the Indianapolis Colts have advanced to the AFC Championship game with a 15-6 win over Baltimore.